everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make the hair wrap for yourself. Here, I have a fabric right here that I fold it in half, but the whole measurement, the long side, the long length of the fabric, it's 40 inch. And the wide side from the top to bottom here, that 12 inches wide. And I fold it in half. If you fold it in half and then you cut, it's much easier. So it's like 20 by 12. It's very easy. Nice and simple. Head wrap here, everyone, that you can wear outside when you have a messy day or whatever. You want to wrap your hair up. This is the fold. And this is the two. On the side here, you're going to mark two inches. I wear this sometime when I go to the beach. From the two inches up here, I'm going to bring it up eight and a half inches. Just mark right there. That eight and a half inch all the way up there. And so now what I need to do, I need to, to connect this a um a and half inch all the way to this line there. Sorry everyone. I just messed up right there, but that's okay. Don't worry about that line, this line right here. So on this side right here, you go and just curl this out a little bit. Just to cut a little bit like that, everyone. You're going to cut, but you're going to cut about like one inch away from the line. When you open it, you're going to have something like this. From the pointy, from the one side on the right side here, you're going to mark for me 10 inch. And then... Another half an inch right there. So mark it like that for me, everyone. You just mark and then I show you what to do. On this side, the same thing. All you need to do, you're going to fold it in two times when you sew like this, everyone. And you're going to sew it in. When you sew it into the 10 inch that I marked it here, when you sew it in here, you're going to stop. And then you're going to leave that half an inch right there. That way I mark the nine, uh, 10 inch and then half an inch. For the half an inch here, you're going to leave that open. Don't sew it. So fold it like that and then go to here and so so you're going to fold it all the way all the way all the way and so go into the same the side here you're going to do the same thing you're going to fold it like that the same thing fold two times when you sew when you sew into the the mark here leave half an inch and then sew all the way the easiest way you can do you're going to iron on first So when you fold it one, you fold it another one, another time here. So now go ahead and sew to here and then stop at the half an inch and then continue to sew all the way to this side, all the way to this side and to here and stop, leave the half an inch and then from here sew this in. So everyone after I sew 
on this side all the way here 10 inch and then I leave half an inch here open and then I sew all the way here to the left all the way to here and leave it half an inch and then sew all the way to here so now on the bottom here that where the two inches earlier what you need to do you go going to fold it the ends in a quarter up and in on the right and on the left you're going to do the same thing fold it in and on the bottom the very little part right here you're going to iron it about a quarter up an inch You on the right side here, you see the two ends right here. You go and bring this, hold this right here, fold it all the way to so that two inches like that. So you go on to bring to go into the front, so you have an extra right there. So go ahead and just cut like a little bit right here, just like that. and then stuck that inside of the line do the same thing when you get into the other line do exactly that so you have that pointy at the end I remember to go to the other side now you're doing the same thing Flip into the front. See the extra? Cut that out. Cut the extra and stuck it in. Same thing. Go ahead and sew the straight line all the way to the other end. Everyone, after I sew the line here, that's pointy, and then it pointy over here too. So go back to the line that you left earlier, right here, half an inch and half an inch over there. I have it here, the 10 inch elastic, and I go on to put in here. You can use safety pin if you want. I have the uh, the needle, the plastic needle here. I'm going to go to one side. You can use pin or you can use clip, whatever you like to use. Just hold on to one side and the rest you can just move down to the other end where you left it here. This space right here. So when I take the needle out, I'm going to just slowly let go to here. This is the elastic. I'm going to sew it in. So from now, from here, you're going to sew the spade in. the other side of the elastic go to the other side and um, do the same thing now face this around everyone you see how cute this one right here then you wear it you can tie it but this one gonna be in the front I wish when I right here at the sole light you can add some lace in here if you like this is where the elastic end uh, start so go straight from here where the sole line here and then you can start adding the lace there and to this so everyone i'm gonna i add the lace here the ribbon here if you want to if you don't want to that's fine but i'm going to put it on so you can see so just wrap around your hair if you want to wrap your ear you can too and go all the way in the back here with your ponytail
that's it everyone nice and simple i'm not sure if you'll be able to see but this is how it is everyone isn't that so pretty super easy to make and it's nice and simple i hope you're making this too everyone looks so pretty stay safe and take care everyone